peeps? I haven't vlogged in the Philly house in forever. It feels like it's been so long. I also need to update you on a bunch of things. A lot of things that I think that you'd be very interested in. Number one, the PVP house is sold. It's gone, forever gone. There will be no more videos in that house. If you missed the very last video, go watch it. I did the 24 hour challenge there. It actually turned out to be the 48 hour challenge because I was there for two nights. As I read the comments in that video and in prior videos in the PVP house, so many of you were asking, please make another video there with Jesse, one last video. Why hasn't he come? Why didn't he help you? Well, number one, he lives in LA, so it's not as convenient. Obviously, I'm here, so I just took care of things. But he did come, he was there for the very last night, and he slept there. We decided not to film. We decided to spend time together not filming, and we had a lot of stuff to do, so we needed to just take care of it, and it took, you know, it took the whole time that we were there. So we did not film there. This is it. We sold it. Somebody gets to live in our exact spot. But cleaning out the PVP house was an extremely stressful time period for me because I did take care of a lot of it by myself. Now that I'm here, I have so many things here still from the PVP house that I am just trying to organize and take care of. It's just a lot. <laughs> also, do you guys remember this? It's the Halloween decoration, I put it up. Bamboo got scared of it the other day. It was so funny when I hung it up. But moving was not an overnight process. It literally took me months. It's so overwhelming. I never realized like what a stressful thing it would be. I thought that once the house was sold, I would feel so much stress relieved, and I do not. There's one thing that I was really looking forward to was shredding all of the papers that had to do with that house because it was taking up so much space in my filing cabinet for all these years and all the bills that I had to pay over this time. So I am super excited to go and shred all of that stuff. It sounds ridiculous, but that's just the truth. Another thing that I have to update you on, it's so funny and embarrassing. If you remember the video that I filmed in the PVP house with Ryan, I took the hot sauce. You, you need to see this video if you didn't see it. Otherwise, what I'm saying, it's gonna make sense, but it will be so much more funny if you watch that video. You need to see it. <laughs> Obviously, I took the hot sauce and it was flaming hot, hottest extract ever. While I was there, the buyer's agent who was purchasing the house showed up. He wanted to show the house to the buyers that day while I was flaming hot with hot sauce. And I'm freaking out like, hoo, 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 because I couldn't breathe. And this is so funny because my realtor, after the house was sold, she said she went to my channel, happened to watch that particular video, and she's like, oh my God, Jen, I knew you made videos. I didn't really know much about it, but when I saw that video, I just figured I had to call you and tell you this because it all is coming together and it all makes sense now. The realtor called her later and said, yeah, I'm not really sure what was going on in that house. I think there was something crazy going on. And as a realtor, she said, and he agreed, that you see a lot of things like you walk into a lot of things as a realtor and we go in people's houses and she's like he thought that you were having sex in the house and I was like oh my god that is so embarrassing and Ryan had to go answer the door and I'm there in the background like oh! <laughs> it was so bad and I felt so stupid she's like but it all makes sense now and I was cracking up it was so funny yes yeah, so that's what that freaking realtor thought and that's not at all what was happening and if you didn't see that video please go watch it because you're gonna die of laughter I'm still dealing with all this crap in the house like I'm trying to clean so many things up it's taking a lot of time bamboo what are you doing he's playing with a zip tie here go get it play fetch go get it so many of you always are like I want to see more of the cats well here you go <laughs> Another important update for you guys is, if I can find her, <gasps> there you are! It's Nyla's birthday today! Nyla's eight years old today. Come here, babe. She's eight. I can't believe she's eight years old. Nyla, it's your birthday! Aww. If you guys wanted to see more of the cats, you can on their Instagram. Tell them, Nyla. Their Instagram is Nyla and Bamboo. You could just follow them on their journey of bad that they do all the time. And it's always in the description of the videos. Nyla, what are we gonna do today for your birthday? I'm gonna give you lots of treats today. 
Yes. Jeez, Nyla. She's like, all right, I want them now. Yo, I am wondering if any of you relate to this. Every single year I look this up, seasonal affective disorder, which means basically that you're affected by the seasons when it gets cold outside and dark and gloomy and you kind of just get this crappy feeling inside and you're not as motivated. I think I have that problem, I do. Because it's like, it gets dark out. Do any of you relate to that? It drives me absolutely nuts. And they're like, oh, you could take medication, which I won't do, to like fix the problem. I hate it, it's super annoying. I feel like I pretty much have organized messes throughout my house. I just don't even know where I'm gonna put this. If I'm gonna ever like get a storage unit or something, I don't know. It looks like Bamboo's trying to help me shred these papers. So, I know this probably seems super like weird. This is what's exciting me, is being able to shred all of this stuff because I couldn't stand having it on my conscious for like all those years dealing with house. And I'm just happy to get rid of this stuff so I don't have to ever think about it again. And it's the end of a PP house. Also, a lot of you were commenting that you feel inspired in some ways seeing me in these types of situations. Maybe you feel like I'm just being strong or I'm handling things well. I'm just like living life like I got to do what I got to do and I'm fine there's nothing wrong with any of the situations um I have like I'm trying to have like a positive mindset with everything sometimes you just got to get done basically like no matter what the situation is you just have to handle it and be your own boss whatever it is that you're doing you have to just do sh be strong and what I wanted to say to you is like if it can be relatable to you in any way or aspect of your life whether it's you're moving you have to deal with like a whole new house or if you're dealing with a breakup a lot of you always ask me stuff about that especially in DMs if you have a new job there's always things in life that are gonna set you off to bring you down. You're gonna have lots of low points in life, but it's gonna be positive in the end. So I just wanted to say that if you ever feel like you're at your lowest point, please know that it gets better. I promise you that. I know that and I want you to know that. So just don't worry if you're ever upset about anything. There's a lot to look forward to in life and I get upset when I read comments from you guys that you're depressed and like you don't know what to do and you're really lost. I feel bad for people who go through that and I, I know it happens to everybody at some point. Just just remember, like coming from, coming from me. This is that weird lens that makes your arms and hands look funny, but I want you guys to get positivity from the videos. Anyway, I gotta get going because I'm gonna be late for this meeting. Yeah, I think I just broke this shredder. Oops. <laughs> oh my God, I just realized I almost forgot to tell you guys one of the most important things that you guys would think is super duper interesting. Are you done drinking water? So I forgot to tell you that, oh, this is such an interesting story. The people who bought the PDP house, there's kids that live there, there's three of them, teenagers, they watch the video. So literally a PDP is now living in the PDP house. It's so weird that that happened, but that happened. And I, and I sit with me for your breath. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I felt really uncomfortable in the beginning of this process to sell the house. I'm not gonna lie, I did not want a peep to buy the house originally. And the reason I think I felt like that was because I wanted it to just be like, the memories that were there just live on and it was a part of history and that's all that it would ever be. Like the house just went to someone who had no idea anything about the videos. And I didn't know until the day of the closing, like when we were ready to sign the paperwork. That was when I found out that the house was going to a peak. Because I met the woman who was buying the house and she introduced herself to me. And I was like, hi, I'm Jen. And she's like, yes, I know who you are. And I'm like, do. <laughs> he said, yeah, my son is a huge fan of you. He watches your videos. So after that interaction happened, I felt totally fine. No big deal. A peep lives there now. It's kind of cool. Maybe I'll try and meet him one day. Wow. Why? All right, we're going to go to bed. Are you messing with my stuff? <laughs> it's the infamous Nyla Titty. <laughs> Yo, I'm just thinking about it. Those kids are probably living like a childhood dream. To live in the house that they used to watch all these videos from their childhood is kind of crazy. I don't know, like I couldn't imagine living in somebody's house of the person who I like loved growing up. I think like the one boy is a bigger fan than uh, the other two. I'm not quite sure, but I think like they all know the videos. I'm just getting ready for bed. People are like, what's your routine? I don't have a routine guys, half the time. If I'm tired, I'll fall asleep with my makeup on. Sometimes I don't. Well, I try not to, obviously, but... 
If you guys made it to the end of the vlog, go comment a cat emoji for Nadia's birthday. Here she comes. <laughs> oh my god, you get to witness this. Oh my god, this is so awesome. They're gonna fight. She's about to bite his butt. Please comment what you would like to see me do in the next coming videos. And if you stay to the end, put a cat emoji too, so I know. Love you guys. Peace. The merch store is up and running, and I hope that you enjoy these pieces. You can find the merch at jensmithofficial.com, and the link is in the description. I love you guys.